When it comes to sports, nothing is ever set in stone. Just when you think you've seen it all, something unexpected takes center stage. Today, we're diving into a situation that has everyone in the NFL world buzzing Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets. Imagine this a seasoned quarterback, a struggling team, and a series of events that could reshape the future of the franchise. What's really going on? Stick around because every second of this story matters. It seems that Aaron Rodgers might not remain with the New York Jets beyond 2025. Rumors are swirling after a series of big decisions by the management, including the dismissal of GM Joe Douglas following five years in the role. This comes on the heels of the earlier firing of head coach Robert Saleh. Now, Rodgers appears to be the next name on the chopping block. But the question is, if he does leave, where could he end up? The Jets' disappointing start to the season has put the spotlight on the team's management and roster decisions. Losing eight out of their first 11 games has prompted drastic measures, like parting ways with Douglas. But reports suggest that even more changes are on the horizon, with Rodgers potentially being shown the door. The stats tell a grim story Rodgers has managed 2,442 yards, 17 touchdowns, and seven interceptions in 12 games this season. While these numbers might be acceptable for some, they fall far below what was expected from a player of his stature. Rodgers' performance has also raised questions about whether expectations were set too high for a 40-year-old quarterback recovering from a major ACL injury. His passer rating of 88.7 doesn't do him any favors, and many argue that the Jets were overly optimistic in building their team around him. The decision to potentially part ways with Rodgers isn't just about his performance on the field, an insider from the NFL revealed to ESPN that Jets owner Woody Johnson views Rodgers as a key reason for the team's rough start this season. The source also pointed out the financial implications of keeping Rodgers his $23.5 million cap charge for 2025. While this gives the team some financial flexibility, it also underscores the urgency to make a choice. Adding to the tension, recent reports indicate growing unrest within the Jets' locker room. According to a piece from Sny, Several players are already looking for opportunities elsewhere, frustrated by the team's lackluster performance. This season, which began with high hopes, now feels like an inevitable slide toward another rebuild. As one insider noted, the team seems ready to move on from Rodgers, and the search for a new GM and coach is already underway. The challenge, however, lies in filling these roles with the right people who can lead the team out of its slump. Rodgers' future also depends on whether any other team is willing to take a chance on him. His age, injury history, and declining stats make him a tough sell for most franchises. And yet, his reputation as a four-time MVP keeps the door open if only slightly. Amidst all this, there's been speculation about what could have been. Back in September, after a devastating loss to the Broncos, Woody Johnson reportedly suggested benching Rodgers in favor of Tyrod Taylor. While the suggestion was initially dismissed, some within the organization now wonder if it could have been the right call. At the time, the coaching staff argued that benching Rodgers so early in the season would damage morale and create chaos in the locker room. But with hindsight, that decision may have changed the course of the season. As the Jets' season unraveled, so did confidence in Aaron Rodgers' ability to carry the team forward. His physical condition remains a significant concern. With a torn ACL and a history of injuries, it's becoming clear that time is not on Rodgers' side. Reports suggest that even Rodgers himself might begin to feel the weight of these challenges potentially signaling a sooner-than-expected end to his career. For the Jets, the gamble of building the team around him is looking less like a calculated risk and more like a misstep. Critics have pointed to the team's moves to accommodate Rodgers, including the acquisition of wide receiver Devontae Adams and other trades aimed at supporting the quarterback. While these decisions were meant to bolster the roster, they have instead highlighted how much influence Rodgers had within the organization and influence that some believe might have been better controlled. The Jets hope to create a competitive team around a seasoned veteran, but the results have fallen short, leaving fans and management alike questioning the path forward. The harsh reality is that Rodgers' best days are likely behind him. While his Hall of Fame status is secure, his current form has been disappointing. A passer rating of 88.7-- is lowest as a full-time starter coupled with just 6.0 yards per attempt paints a bleak picture. For a player who once set the standard for excellence, these numbers are a stark reminder that even legends are not immune to the toll of time. If the Jets decide to part ways with Rodgers after the 2025 season, they'll face significant financial implications. 
releasing him after June 1, 2025, would leave the team with $49 million in dead money but save $9.5 million in cap space. These numbers only add to the difficult decisions the Jets must make as they consider whether to rebuild around a younger quarterback or continue with Rodgers for another year. The question now is where could Aaron Rodgers go if the Jets decide to release him? A few teams have emerged as potential destinations with the Giants, Steelers, and Vikings being the most discussed options. Among these, the Giants seem to be the most logical fit. Despite their struggles, the team is not in a full rebuild mode just yet. Their quarterback situation is far from stable, with Daniel Jones failing to meet expectations. The decision to bench him and skip the backup, Drew Locke, in favor of Tommy DeVito signals a team willing to take risks. For Rodgers, the move to the Giants would provide a sense of continuity, as he would remain in New York. The Giants, despite their flaws, offer a more stable environment than the Jets currently can. And while it may not guarantee a Super Bowl run, it could give both Rodgers and the team an opportunity to salvage their seasons. That said, the Giants have a significant hurdle to overcome their defensive end is too strong to justify a complete rebuild. Players like Malik Neighbors, who are in the prime of their rookie contracts, represent valuable assets that the team cannot afford to waste. For Rodgers, this presents a chance to step into a team that, while struggling, has a foundation to build upon. While the Giants seem like the frontrunners, it's worth noting that Rodgers' future in the NFL is far from certain. Many experts argue that his age and injury history make him a liability for any team looking to compete at the highest level. As Mike Florio put it, it's hard to imagine any team wanting to bring in Rodgers and trying to force a system around him. Florio added that even if a contending team loses its quarterback to injury, Rodgers might not be the best option, given the challenges of integrating him into a new system mid-season. The Jets, meanwhile, face an uphill battle. Releasing Rodgers would signal the start of yet another rebuild, a process that could take years to yield results. The team's performance this season losing seven of their last eight games underscores the urgency for change. Games like the loss to the Cardinals, where Rodgers had zero touchdowns, highlight the struggles that have plagued the team throughout the season. The financial implications of parting ways with Rodgers are significant but might ultimately be necessary. The Jets would face $49 million in dead money, but could save $9.5 million in cap space by designating his release after June 1st. This move would give the team some breathing room to start fresh, even if it means enduring short-term pain for long-term gain. As the Jets look ahead to the 2025 season, one thing is clear major changes are on the horizon. The search for a new general manager and head coach is already underway, signaling a desire to overhaul the team from the top down. But the most pressing question remains who will lead the team on the field. Rodgers' potential departure opens the door for the Jets to explore other options at quarterback. While Tyrod Taylor was briefly considered earlier this season, it's unlikely he will be the long-term solution. The team may need to look to the draft or free agency to find their next leader a decision that will shape the future of the franchise. For Rodgers, the road ahead is uncertain. While his career is filled with accolades and accomplishments, his current form and physical condition make it difficult to predict what's next. Whether he stays in New York with the Giants or finds a new home elsewhere, one thing is certain the NFL landscape is about to change. And that's the big picture for Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets. It's a story of high hopes, challenging circumstances, and tough decisions that could reshape the future of both the player and the franchise. As fans, we often get wrapped up in the excitement of marquee names and blockbuster moves, but this situation reminds us of the unpredictable nature of sports. Sometimes, the pieces just don't fall into place the way we hope. So, as the Jets prepare for what seems to be another rebuild, the spotlight remains firmly on their next steps. Will the management make bold moves to bring in fresh talent? Or will they find a way to breathe new life into this struggling roster? And for Aaron Rodgers, Will he find a new home that allows him to finish his career on a high note, or are we witnessing the final chapters of his legendary journey in the NFL? Your thoughts matter to us. What's your take on this unfolding drama? Do you believe the Jets are making the right call? Or should they hold on to Rodgers for one more season? And if Rodgers moves on, which team do you think would be the perfect fit for him? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Because these discussions are what make the sports community so dynamic and engaging. Thank you for watching. And if you found this breakdown insightful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more updates, analysis, and stories from the world of sports. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest buzz. 
Until next time, stay tuned, stay informed, and as always, keep the love for the game alive. See you soon.